Hi, it's Di Downey. I'm in my kitchen. And my philosophy is if you plan good food, put it in your kitchen, in your cupboard, in your fridge, you're going to eat good food. And if you can grow a little bit of your food, you're going to eat better. So one of the things that I have in my house as much as possible all the time, and I have a setup so that my husband can make it, is what's called liposomal vitamin C. It's one of our staple foods. And what it is, is I want you to look it up on the internet. It's written in my blog. It's written in the video below, however you've come to this video, liposomal vitamin C. So I'm going to show you how to make that. And then I would recommend that you have that in your house the whole time. We can absorb up to about 93% than the normal vitamin C that we go and spend a lot of money on in the shop because this liposomal, liposomal vitamin C can go straight through to our small intestine. But anyway, I'm going to go and let you do the research on this. I'm going to, my job is to show you how to make it. So, again, nothing has to be fancy. I'm not a cook as such. Two cups of really good water. When I say good water, rain water, spring water. So two cups in a container, another one cup in another container. And I do this in the morning so that my lecithin can actually soak. And that's what I need to do. So I'm going to put six and a half tablespoons. Use plastic, don't use stainless steel. Um, do six and a half tablespoons of my liposomal vitamin C into my water. And then I put two and a half tablespoons of ascorbic vitamin C into my one cup of water. That's the measurements. Just two and a half or two. Look at the recipe. One. I think it's two and a half. And I just stir that around. That's the first part of it. Now, oh, just another thing that I want to say is I, if I can get it, I always get as organic as I possibly can, or, or organic, but I also like to prefer to use um, sunflower lecithin if I can find it. You can't always find it, it's really hard to find. Um, I think that that's a better, has a better absorption sticking rate for the vitamin C. Okay, so the next step is, I've done this in the morning, right? So you would do it in the morning, but I did mine this morning because I wanted to do this video and show you tonight. So here's my um, lecithin. It's, um, the grains have pretty much dissolved and that's what you want because you want the lecithin, you want the vitamin C wrapped in amongst the lecithin. So I'm just going to pour these straight into my uh, Thermomix to make a little bit of noise uh, because really, once you've put those in there, those two, the lecithin and the vitamin C, you only want to do it for about two seconds. <laughs> so the next part of it is remember we've got like a frothy um, you know, mixture of lecithin and rainwater or in your case it might be spring water and ascorbic acid and water. So the other thing that I do is I actually think this is important for my husband to be able to make so that he won't go to a recipe book. I've actually written the recipe on the side of my sound machine. Now, some people also say to put their um, mixture in glass and put it in the sound machine. Some people say it's not necessary. I actually don't do that. So um, it's going to be up to you. So... For the sound machines that I've used, you need to fill it up first and then you can turn it on. So where are we? Turn it on. No heat with the sound machine and then you just need to keep stirring that for the amount of time. I think for me it's about eight minutes. Um, and then we'll come back after it's done. So this is just finishing. And remember to turn it off before you empty it out. And then I'm going to put it into the jar. That's how I store it. And store it in the fridge and you probably have about I drink it like a shot and sometimes I don't have any I sort of like ask myself do I need liposomal vitamin C and then um, yes hear that little sound um, what I was going to say is sometimes I feel as if I'm a little bit run down I may need a little bit of a pep up. I feel as if I'm not absorbing my food as well. I feel as if I'm on the rush a little bit. So I'll increase it. So I might go my 10 meals three or four times a day. Or sometimes I'll just have my shot in the morning. 
So just pour your sound affected liposomal vitamin C into your bottle. It doesn't fizz like a kefir if you've seen that and store that. Drink it cold, drink your vitamin C cold, otherwise it won't taste very nice. Now, the, the little check is if, if this tastes really bitter or it's quite um, astringent on your tongue, I think, and from my research, is that you probably need the vitamin C, is that your body isn't absorbing what you think it might be absorbing. So if it doesn't taste great, it could be a good sign that you need it. So now that's ready to go in the fridge. And once it starts to, what starts to um, taste pretty yummy, which it does to me, um, although um, at the, you know, I know that at times when I get a little bit depleted or I'm, or I'm busy, as I said, or I'm stressed, I could, um, it doesn't taste as nice. So that's just a bit of a tip as to how often you use it.